Good morning, everybody. Farmer Jim here today. Oh, we have uh, we have a full day um, of activities. So basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to let this warm up for a minute. Uh, we have well, I haven't done the video update in a while, so we have our greenhouses built. We have our uh, we got our water well drilled and installed. The guy is down there right now, um, just you know finalizing everything, doing the water pressure test and all that. So, uh, what else? Oh, I was doing some research on the tractor that I have, and my tractor doesn't have a front PTO, and I was debating whether if I should take out one off of the, the one of those other tractors I have and somehow oh there's the contractor there getting the water hooked up good job good job but um what I was saying because my tractor that one there this is this is like one of my main tractors I, I use right now so it has a rear PTO uh, and a lift and all that but it doesn't have anything on the front so I was trying to figure out if I could maybe somehow take one of these rear ones out because this one works and that one doesn't so that might not even work really because I think that goes right off like the transmission or something yeah that's probably not going to work so I'll just I'll just switch those ones out as that and maybe, maybe I can find one. Maybe I can find one that I can just, because it has, I was looking through inside there, and it has like the hydraulic hoses that I could bolt one up. So you can see the hoses down there. So I might be able just to maybe bolt one up and put a lift on the front and then I can probably you know use this as my mower too that's what I'm thinking anyway but anyways uh, so yeah so we got our water tower in there we got our greenhouses um, all built and you know pretty much landscaped in so that's good what else was I gonna do um, well I guess we could probably go ahead and see what we can find some kind of front lift hydraulic uh, PTO for the front of that tractor because that would be that would be nice yeah let's go see what we can find oh and then uh, we got to actually what we should do is pull this out now uh, yeah I better open both of them here we gotta grab actually both of these the water truck and this because we gotta go fill up the greenhouses today too and I don't have anything in there so I'm gonna need some manure yeah I was gonna let it warm up but whatever we don't need to uh, that guy's not done there yet so we'll pull that out after Okay, let's go see what we can find for this tractor here. Alright. Get up in the seat. Get up in the seat. Okay, let's see what we can find. A front lifter right there. So this is a used one, but it looks 
pretty good. Doesn't have any description on it. Twenty five hundred bucks. Hmm. I wonder if that would just hook straight up to it. What is that? What? Six bolts? Three bolts on each side? Let's see, it has the front PTO, it has the lifters, it has the cable or the hydraulic hoses that just gotta be hooked up, which is no big deal. I can probably do that all here. You know what? We're gonna do it. And uh, that should be delivered sometime today. The delivery cost is $62, not too bad. Alright, so while we wait for that, let's give this thing a wash. We'll let her warm up as we wash it here. Oh, look at that, the already here. Awesome. So, I guess, uh, I guess we'll bring that in, and I wonder how heavy this thing is. I could probably drag it in there. It shouldn't be that heavy. Oh, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, get in here. So now we just got to figure out how am I going to do this? All right, I have an idea. I could probably use this hoist just to kind of lift it up and hook it on there. Looks like it's just six bolts, three on each side. So I just got to drill into the frame or the bottom half of that body. Uh, Alright, let me go grab some tools, the drills right there, and let's drill that up. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, put the drill back, put all my tools back. Alright, so we got her on there. So you drilled those holes in there, put that on there, hooked up the hoses. And, um, yeah, so I don't even have... I don't think I have anything I can test it with right away. So I don't even know if it's going to work. I don't even have a mower or nothing. But hey, that'll be that'll be coming next. Now that I have cuz I was actually going to like eventually sell this just because it didn't have the front PTO. So now I can even probably sell my front end loader and then use that snow blower on this. Oh, that just made me money as I spent that much money. Twenty-five hundred bucks, and I can because I don't, 
I can't even think of anything I would need the front end loader for other than the snow blower. Oh, that's good. Okay, so yeah, that's done now. What else was I gonna do? Oh, greenhouses. Um, contractor is still there. All right. Well, we can go do the manure. Get this filled up, and hopefully by then, buddy will be done with the water. Alright, so we need manure. I don't know how much manure we're going to need, so I'm just going to fill this thing up with that stinky stuff. So I'm growing uh, tomatoes and lettuce. And they sell automatically, which is, I guess it's kind of good because it's just, uh, you just got to keep topping it up with some manure and some water. Alright, let's go get this stinky stuff delivered. I might as well just start up at the last one. Fill them up, fill them up. Oh. Damn, we're going to have to go back down and grab some more. So we're gonna have to run down and grab some more manure. Alrighty. Alright, got another full load of manure. I'm gonna empty this into here, do the last one, and then uh, I did notice the contractor was gone. I didn't see his truck there, so I'm assuming... Well, he said it was already working. He called me this morning and said it was already good to go. He just had to do some finalizing, some kind of pressure testing and stuff like that, so... I'm assuming it's good to go, so we're going to go down and hook it up and see if we got water. Alright, so we have a half a trailer full of manure still, but that's okay, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this trailer up here and just use it for um, touch-ups, or topping up, I mean. Touch-ups, what the heck are you talking about? So I just got to put the cover on. Uh, I have to get out, and hopefully... Reach over there. Ah, disconnect it all. There we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, so that's it for manure. Now I just gotta go grab the water truck and fill them up with water. I wanted to actually plant some like fruit trees throughout my property too. I think that'd be kind of cool. Well, I got a little bit of a peephole here. Watch out, curtains are coming through. Time to hop into the old big rig here. Look up the water. It looks like it's working because I see water coming out of here.
too sure. I think this might be a little overkill for what I need it for, but... I mean, it's better than making, I don't know how many trips up and down. If I were to grab, like, a small water trailer, I mean, it's just, yeah. Oh, she working. Don't know how, but it's working. <laughs> Gotta use our imagination, guys. Come on. Anyways, I can probably take this time to tell you, hey, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Um, you know, say hi. Still gotta get my shop built. I was, uh, that's the contractor that's not gonna be building my shop, but that contractor there, he does, uh, smaller stuff. Um, he does stuff like, you know, like the water towers. Well, I guess it's not smaller stuff. It's just different stuff. He doesn't do, like, buildings. Like, he's the one that came up here and hooked up all my water tanks to the the greenhouses. And, um... He also, like, does, like, windmills and stuff. Is that going to reach from there? Oh, yeah. There we go. So I'm, I'm assuming this trailer should be able to fill all four of these, no problem. 84. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a little bit left over. But, yeah, so uh, he was also telling me that he has, like, a couple of these old windmills, wood windmills that generate, oops, small amounts of power. So I might get him to uh, put a couple of those on my property too. Anything like that is kind of cool and it, uh, hey, anything that works and uh, gives you money in the background while you're doing other stuff is pretty cool. Uh oh, why isn't this one working? Can't be because I'm too far away. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Uh-oh. We have a problem. We have water in our tank. But why isn't this one wanting to grab water? I might have to call the contractor back to... Oh, there we go. Uh, I guess I wasn't close enough. I don't know. So anyways, yeah, I'm growing uh, tomatoes and lettuce. I can't remember if I said that, but I probably did. But anyways, just in case you missed it, uh, that's what I'm doing. All right, so that's basically all I got this for for now. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I might get. That's going to need water. Uh, I might do chickens my goal for this season or by the end of the season beginning of next season is to have this gigantic field right there that would be that would be sweet that's what I'm hoping for um, am I done in here no I gotta lower that bucket what the heck you thinking without farmer uh, Joe here he reminded me of lots of stuff. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, I could get rid of this and hook. Oh. Oh, I can sell this as a package deal, though. Because they, 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 they do make a three-point. And this is a loader attachment. Uh, a loader attachment. For the snowblower, but I can get this in a three point and hook that up to my tractor. I think I'm gonna have to like read up on the specs on how much horsepower the snowblower actually needs. But if I can get that to work on that tractor, then I can sell this 
Actually, I can sell the whole thing and then just buy the the snowblower. Oh, I'm excited now. Can you tell? Can you tell? Come on, close. Come on, there we go. All right, Farmer Jim is just. Oh my God! Grab the door. There we go. Come on. There. All right. Uh, yeah. So that thing's still for sale. What else is new? Nothing else new, really. Um, four new greenhouses. I got my my front lift and front PTO on my tractor. That that made my day. That really made my day. That's like a that's like a game changer right there. Okay. Anyways. Uh, I guess that's it for this video. Um, I'm probably going to tackle this in the next coming couple of days. Switch out those PTOs and uh, sell. Actually, I might just scrap that because I don't think. Well, maybe the engine. I don't know. Maybe we'll sell it for parts or something. But this one we're going to sell as a complete package. It just has the cab on it. Um, does this have a front PTO? No. I wonder if we should try to put one on there. For twenty five hundred bucks, you know that we can up the price five more thousand dollars just because of that front PTO. Damn. Okay. Anyways, um, we got a header, we got a combine, we need a a grain truck or a grain trailer or something, um, within the next uh, couple of months. Mid spring. Yeah, we're not even in midsummer yet. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow we'll take a drive over to our field and see how the field's doing. Maybe go spray some fertilizer in there. I need a sprayer. I'm going to go post up my loader on Craigslist. Because I don't need that now. I don't need it. Actually, no. I have to do the research to see how much horsepower that snowblower needs. How much power it needs okay anyways hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment down below and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching farmer jim is out